Good morning and welcome to the Option Pit AM Volatility Report. I'm Mark Sebastian, coming to you live from Chicago, Illinois. Reminder, none of this should be considered as investment advice. Consult your financial professional. Uh, options have risk. Uh, just be aware. Well, quite the down day for the market. Uh, we've got the S&P early down about 20, so 1%. And we've got some decent movement in VIX, if you look, um, you know, kind of across the board, some, some decent movement, but nothing crazy. VIX is up back over 16. And you can see the futures complex, if I pull this up properly. Futures complex, you're seeing some, some decent movement out of May, uh, where, you know, you've got the May future up almost a dollar. And the June future is up 65 cents. So you have some movement. So you've got some, some movement kind of across the board, but nothing, I mean, it's some weak data out of China. So this is a little bit of data. And then a little bit of auto sales and a little bit of reaction, I think, to yesterday's rally where maybe they went a little bit light with how quickly they took volatility down. I mean, they really let it let vol have it yesterday. Um, I mean, it opened, you know, 1592 from a close of 1570 before it, uh, it really dropped. And so here we are. Percent doesn't that make some sense? I mean, that's uh, pricing in one percent a day of movement. That's not a small amount. So as long as it's not crazy, and, and as long as this isn't turning into 50, 60, 70, 80 point moves in the S and P. I mean, obviously that all caused the ball to explode. But as long as it's as it's not you know multi multi standard deviation moves, you, you might see the VIX getting a little toppy here. But we have seen, after a really low period of movement, all right, some increase in movement over the last week. You know, we're through earnings season. We're through earnings season, and volatility's increased. When you add today, it'll get back, moving toward 10% over the last 10 days. And 20-day is going to creep its back toward 12 so there's some increase, but some real increase in movement. Now, that being said, you know, Apple, which had been a driver of all, is up. There's some buyers there. Uh, some of the other names, Face, you know, Facebook's down, Google's down a little. You know, they're, uh, they're a little soft, but if you look, Financials and transpos it continues to be kind of the weak spot. So like JP Morgan, off two and a half percent. Goldman, off two and a half percent. So financials are soft today. Financials are very soft. Now does that does that last? Probably not. You know, with China data, all that means is that the dollar is gonna soften a little bit. And uh, and there's some potential for uh, rates. If you look at TLT, it's, it's kind of bananas the way that's moving. If you look at rates, they're going to stay low for much longer. You know, it's not something that we have not seen. Now, the final piece to watch is keep an eye on FXY, is the yen versus the dollar trade. Uh, it's been... So, you know, it, it's been uh, increasing some, all right? And so that, that's going to be an important thing to, to understand, all right? Now, one thing I would note is that Japan is, down, is closed for a couple of days and has been the big driver of the market. If you're wondering where this volatility is coming from, it's not out of the blue, Japan has been down a lot over the last couple of days. And they're closed for the next couple of days. So that means 
futures traders are maybe able to push this thing around a little bit. Um, and that's partly why maybe we're seeing a little bit of volatility along with China. If you look at FXI, China is terrible, FXI is down 2%. And, and that's really where the market is derived. So, you know, are we going to stay down like this? I mean, we're down 20 already and we're only 25 minutes in. We haven't really seen an uptick. You know, if I pull up SPY, pull up a one-day chart here. Not like there's been a lot of updates. Um, so the market, if, if we're not going to have a really ugly day, the market's going to have to find a bid at some point. It uh, certainly is not there right now. So it's just, it's an interesting thing to look at. And uh, I'll, I'm going to be watching this closely. Um, you know, we are, uh, you know, we, we saw the lows while I was talking at uh, 9.53 Eastern. And, uh, you know, if you look at five-day lows, you know, kind of the, the level to watch is going to be 205 in SPY. And in SPX, you know, this is going to, you were looking at, yeah, so right around 250. So, you know, maybe there's there's potentially another 12 points of downside before we had any any strong, strong resistance. You'll have your technical people screaming triple bottom. But I'm, I'm less, uh, less concerned by that. All right, folks, uh, if you want to know more about what we've got going on at OptionPit, you can email me at marketoptionpit.com or you can call me 888-TRADE-01. Uh, it has a great morning, and I'll talk to you soon.